Welcome Monday morning to you folks. Hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully you had a good night's rest and you're ready to face the day. Chapter 18 of the book of Jeremiah. Something no doubt we've looked at in the past, but we are uh, getting close to 460 of these um, mornings together. So, uh, so we'll just give you this this morning. Hopefully it'll be something that speaks to you. Chapter 18 of the book of Jeremiah. The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Arise, and go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause thee to hear my words. Then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrought a work on the wheels, and the vessel that he had made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter, so he made it again, another vessel, as seemed good to the potter to make it. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, O house of Israel, cannot I do with you as this potter? Saith the Lord, Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are ye in mine hand, O house of Israel. I don't know about you, but I am thankful that even today in our day and time, for my generation, that God takes and he uses illustrations just as he I use this illustration of the potter and the clay. There are illustrations that God will speak to us and use in ways in our lives if we will just pay attention to him. But um, to, to see what Jeremiah saw may sound simple, but that potter didn't throw that clay out. He didn't throw it away. He saw that the vessel was marred but he's, he's the maker of the vessel. He is uh, the potter. So he just saw fit to make it again. And I think of my life, not counting the people around me that I know that God has forgiven and has blessed them, but I just think of my life alone, of how God has taken broken, worthlessness, uselessness, and made something useful for his purpose. I should never complain about doing anything for the Lord after everything he's done for me. I should never complain about ever reaching out to try to help somebody else in their time of need or in their time of trouble after all the help that God has blessed me with through the years. There are going to be times that you and I may both feel like failures. We may, there may be times in your life that you feel like that you are of no good and no purpose. But remember this, God didn't choose to throw you away. He chose to remake you. As Jesus would say, born again. Uh, we were made in the image of God. Adam was through Adam's fall. Then... Um, some people may argue or debate this, but then Jesus said to those who said, we are of Abraham's seed. Our father is God. And Jesus said, if your father was God, you would know me. You're of your father, the devil. So man was made in the image of God in the garden. Adam was made in the image of God, but Adam fell. Through Adam, all die through Christ all become alive again so you're not made in the image of God you are not made in the image of God until you're born again uh, we are in the image of a fallen man it, it, whether it's up for debate or not you can think about it <laughs> get back with me or don't it doesn't matter um, we are in the fallen state None of us are fit to see God face to face except for the blood of Christ. So he remakes us. He remolds us. He reshapes us. Empty and broken I came back to him A vessel unworthy So scarred by sin but he did not despair 
He started over again And I bless the day He didn't throw the clay away Over and over He molds me and makes me into He fashioned the clay, a vessel of honor I am today. Oh, because Jesus didn't throw the clay away. He is the potter. And I am the clay Into His likeness He wants me to stay But when I stumble And I fall And my vessel breaks He just picks up the pieces he doesn't throw the play away Over and over He molds me and makes me Into His likeness He fashions the clay A vessel I am today Oh, because Jesus Didn't throw the clay away A vessel of honor I am today Oh, because Jesus didn't throw the clay away. Lord, I thank you for the day you've given us. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to look into your word. God, I'm so thankful that you did not throw the clay away. God, that you use us unworthy as we may be. God, you reshape, remold, rebuild rebirth us and use us for your purpose we're grateful for that we love you and we thank you in jesus name amen god bless folks see you tuesday